Hi there. Welcome to my short little video on ting saws. Ting saws are a Tibetan percussion instrument that are just wonderful for anybody practicing meditation who wants to get into meditation. It's a great way to start your meditation or end it. They uh, are just metallic discs made of uh, bronze alloys. They come in different sizes. These are three inch. And just to give you an example how you might use it, here's a real short meditation that I like to do just uh, to do real quickly if you need a little break during during a day when you're under a lot of stress. So you can just take a moment and just listen to the sounds around you. Hopefully it's not too noisy where you are. Now close your eyes and bring your attention to the sound of these and just follow the sound until it ends. And now just bring your attention again to the sounds that are around you. And what do you notice? What I notice is that things have gotten quieter for me, both inside and outside. I like to use that. That takes less than a minute, and it's a good way to kind of break up stressful periods. They come in different sizes. These are three inch. Here's a set that is about two inches long across diameter, excuse me. So of course they're much higher pitched. You only really need one set, but if you like to have fun with them, and you do get two, they're kind of fun to play with, maybe mixing together, and they get the combination sounds. So that's traditionally the way they're played, and I thought I would just share with you as a percussionist some other ways they can be played, or other things I do with them. Um, I find that they kind of add an interesting dimension if I just spin them after I hit them. You might go... And that makes it sound like you're throwing the sound around the room, kind of. You can get the same effect by just twirling them. That's a little, a little bit more dangerous, so you might hit them together like I did when you don't want to. So the other thing that uh, that I'll do a lot of times to control how I hit them because the traditional way of either hitting them this way or swinging them together uh, you can miss or get not quite what you want. If you really want to be a little more sure this is what we do. We hold it kind of real tight sideways and then we can just strike it and still rings. And that way I can play very percussively if I want to. Also, hitting, hitting them with uh, different kinds of sticks is an interesting thing to do. Because depending on what the stick's made out of, it'll have different sounds. Here's just rattan, so like a wood sound. Much lighter, softer, plastic. A soft plastic or rubber. Wood. A little purer sound. And this is metal, which would be more like just hitting the other symbol against it. So you can try different kinds of things to hit it with, and you'll find that it gets slightly different tones out of it. Also, if you start collecting more than one like I did, you can uh, put them together and make a little instrument out of them. I just take a stick here and kind of wrap them up so I can play them one after the other. And here I'll use a uh, triangle beater actually to show you this. 
I'm only having to hit the bottom ones here. The other ones are just being suspended by uh, suspended by the stick. So that allows me to create like a little chorus here. So you might enjoy getting a, a little more into it like that or just get yourself a set of ting saws if you don't have them and have fun with them. Uh, my name is Robert Hamaker again and I hope that maybe inspired you to try some other things with your sting, ting saws or maybe go get a set. Um, I've done a meditation CD I'll just mention and, and I'll show you the website at the end here. But this is a meditation CD I've done all on percussion instruments. I use a lot of sounds like the ting saws, although in the percussion world we use actually a pitch set called antique cymbals or crotales that sound very similar. I'll show you what they look like. So these are a set of crotales. So this is a full octave and they're pitched just like a keyboard, like a piano, but they sound very much like the ting saws I was just showing you. So if you'd like to check out what I've done using instruments like these and many, many others to create a soundscape or a guided meditation, I've done two versions of this, uh, visit lastlaughproductions.net and you can watch for that at the end here. But for now, thank you for joining me for this little demonstration and have a great day. Your boat gently rides the waves up onto the shore. Step out onto the sand. There is a fresh breeze blowing on your cheeks. In the distance, you see white cliffs with waterfalls. Walk up the dunes, your footsteps crunching beneath you. Look down at your feet. You see that the sand is made of small stones, 
thousands of stones in every size. Some as small as a seed or as large as your palm. All smoothed and polished by the ocean. They are in every color you can imagine, even colors you have only dreamed. Pick up a handful and sift them through your fingers. There is one stone that calls to you in beautiful color. Lift that stone and heft it in your hand. 